it's one of the most important family legal documents anyone can complete. Um, because basically, about 40% of us will have a period during our lives when we're unable to look after ourselves for one reason or another, mostly illness, obviously. And Scots law doesn't allow anyone to do things on your behalf unless you've granted that power to somebody by granting a power of attorney beforehand. A power of attorney, you are privately giving powers to someone to act for you when you can't act yourself. If there is no power of attorney in place and someone loses capacity, perhaps they have a stroke and if you're unable to communicate after a stroke in Scotland, you've lost legal capacity. What someone in the family then has to do is apply to the court to get powers to do things to look after that person, and that's called a guardianship. Um, the critical difference is there's a big court process to appoint a guardianship, it's quite expensive, um, and of course you can't choose who applies to become your guardian. The power of attorney is very simple to set up, it would probably involve two visits to your lawyer. Lawyers are charging in Scotland round about £200 for a power of attorney. Now, on top of that, you'd have to register the power of attorney with the public guardian. That, in fact, costs another £79. If people say a joint husband and wife do a powers of attorney, solicitors will generally charge a cheaper amount for the two. And of course, lots of people over 60 in Scotland can have their fees paid by legal aid. It's a very, very simple process. It's called the Legal Advice and Assistance Scheme. Um, and it's a very generous scheme for people over 60. You can own a house of any value, and the only thing that's taken into account is your income um, and your savings. And the application is online. It takes about five minutes with a solicitor who is familiar with the scheme. You can even be assessed for legal aid before you go in and see the solicitor, so you'll know beforehand whether you've anything to pay. But by and large, if you're over 60 and have only the state pension and have less than um, £26,716 in the bank, you will have that document prepared for nothing. If you've got a private pension over and above the state pension we have, then the rules change and you might end up with partial payment of the fees. Virtually everybody does an omnibus power of attorney, which covers um, legal and financial uh, powers as well as welfare powers. You can have a separate power of attorney just to do legal and financial things like deal with bank accounts and you can have a separate one dealing with welfare issues such as you know, where you stay, how you're looked after. But I would say the overwhelming majority of cases people go for both. If for example, well I've done a power of attorney for my wife, um, but, but say I hadn't and say I took a, uh, took a, a stroke and lost capacity, I've been married for 48 years, but my wife would still have to apply to the local sheriff court um, at some expense, probably costing her over four or five thousand pounds. Um, she'd have to go through a long court process before she was eventually appointed my guardian. And I think that's a dreadful legacy to leave someone because where illness strikes a family, there's distress anyway. So why would you want to add the distress of having to do this court action? Uh, we've had clients who have worked abroad and there's been issues happening abroad and they can't get back in time. So nobody can deal with their affairs back in this country. If they'd done a power of attorney, their spouse or another party chosen by them could deal with urgent things that needed to be done. You don't need to have fallen ill for the attorney to be used for the legal and financial powers.